Hey everybody, it's The Walkers. What are we doing today? Well, today we're doing a review of the LII 100. Let's take a look at this. What this is, basically a power bank slash charger, and it's very lightweight. Under five bucks too, and that's pretty cool. Now it could do, the reason why I like it so much, it can charge either regular rechargeable batteries, the ones you see all the time, or lithium ion batteries of all sizes. Well, pretty much all sizes. It can do another chemistry as well, but I don't do that, so I don't talk about it. And you can select either a half amp charge or one amp charge. You manually select. One amp charge is better for um, lithium ion batteries of smaller size, and the one amp is better for larger. This is the power bank function shows that this battery is full. We um, we solar charged this battery earlier today, and we'll take a look at that as far as the charging part goes. Input output. So we'll put in the core up. Oh, output by the way is one amp. It's showing um, five five point one five one six volts. That's just fine. So we're charging at around one amp. That's good. It'll drop back down as it sets up, but it's this is exactly what I would get. There it goes. It's going down now, but that's normal. If I use the phone, it'll go up because this phone's drawing in more energy. In general, though. It's a very good charger. I found that I've gotten the same exact charge using this as I have using um, Nikkor F1. So it's an excellent, excellent charger when using a lithium ion battery. The pros of course, I've got a pile of these batteries. And I can simply, when it runs down, I can just replace it with another battery. Let's try to charge something else. There's a power bank. Comes with this cord right here. It's a nice cord. Turns it on. Okay. Oh, polarity protected. And that's just proof, right? Even though there's a, a, a little battery symbol, sometimes it screw up. So you can definitely see it's definitely par polarity protected. There we go. It's charging um, this panel. Actually, it's not a panel. It's a power bank with a solar panel built in at its maximum rate. <laughs> Excuse me. Which is um, 5 volts at 1 amp. That would be its maximum rate. Of, and it's, we're doing it pretty darn good. Try to charge his battery with it. Pop this right in. Now for this battery, I'd want to select a half an amp. So what we're going to do 
we're going to reverse the order. Output. Input. Oop. There we go. Selection, half an amp. It's then choosing um, the 1.2 volt. And there it goes. It's now charging the battery. It automatically can select the proper um, the proper setting. It has, a, it has a detection on that. Let's try one thing to show you. Okay, so we're at... I would not want to choose one amp for that. Get that in a moment. This is the ideal charge rate for this battery, in my opinion. So it, it can, it definitely knows this is how I'd want this battery charged. I wouldn't want to charge faster. Quarter amp is good. And that's what this battery's taking. So that's just fine. Let's try this. Um, this battery is actually full, but we'll see what we get. Well, not totally full, but it's pretty close to full. So it's going to charge it. We'll select one amp. It won't last long because the battery is just about full. If it wasn't just about full, we'd be getting close to um, a one amp charge on it. And I can tell the battery is just about full. Shows all the bars illuminated. How does it work for solar? Let's check. So we're using the LII100 to charge up this uh, 18650 battery in camp. It's giving me about the same charge as I would if it was plugged into the wall. The battery itself is almost fully charged. But how does it work if there is um, clouds in the sky? There's a charge error with a very small panel, but fortunately the panel will reset. So one advantage um, if you're using a panel with a reset like this uh, ECEEN, it's not easy to get a charge error with this um, charger. It took a small 7 watt panel when even a um, 12 watt, which isn't particularly big, it didn't do it, but it is still possible. But a panel like this will just reset. It's not a bad rate of charge either for um, late day sun, early spring. And it worked just fine. Um, as you see from the video, there's a potential charge error using a smaller panel on low light conditions. 
a larger panel, I didn't have many charge errors. So keep in mind, if you want to use this for solar and you have a smaller panel, make sure you have a panel that can auto-correct for charge errors. Bingo. So, I like these. These are inexpensive. They've proven reliable in my testing. I could buy, like, for 20 bucks, I could buy four of these things. I got this into a gear best, but you can find them. You know, very, very inexpensive item that actually works, at least in my testing. I've been using it for a while. I have one in my inch bag, one in my regular 72-hour bob, and one in my hiking kit basically gives me all the pros, well, a lot of the pros of the um, Nightcore F1 at half the price, but also the ability to, to uh, charge a AA or AAA battery. So, kind of like a one-stop a one energy solution for charging and power bank. Best of all, because I can replace the batteries. Well, as this battery runs out, I can just dump in another another battery in and I can control the batteries in there power I mean, this is a good quality power bank but a lot of power banks you don't know what's in there this is a Sanyo 3500 milliamp hour unprotected battery it's an awesome battery so I know the quality of what I'm carrying because I just put it in all right so if you like what you've seen give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button y'all have a great day um, I need to do some camp duties. So, you know, I got this from um, GearBest. I'll put up a link where you can get yours if you want one. I mean, for five bucks, eh, it's an awesome deal. All right, y'all have a great day and I'm gonna get, to get onto my camp duties.